Hey man, hi, God bless you. I, I just put this tape together, this video together, uh, dealing with the confession I used to make uh, back in the nineties, but it's, it's, it's scriptures, word of God. I, I took out my personal scriptures out of it, or personal confessions and so forth, or, or things that I want to remind myself to do. It's just to focus on the scriptures. Everything is based on scripture and it's meant for, from things from victory, things from healing, you know, you name it. It's 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 all about staying focused and trusting the word of God. Amen. So let's do that. And uh I want to start off with the Lord's Prayer and then we go straight into the confession. Like I said, I used to have 14 pages of scriptures that I that I consider my favorite scripture and I was reading them daily. It was supposed to feed your spirit man daily. So I encourage you to take a look at them, check them out, and use them. Um Use them. Go to, you go sleep listening to them. If you're going through healing, listen to those scriptures. You know, or you can read them too. Cause I put them on the. I put the slides. Basically, my faces out of those slides, and you just look at the, uh, the 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 scriptures, and you can read them for yourself. Uh, but if not, that's what my voice behind me are is about reading the scriptures. So enjoy. I know you'll love it, and. Uh, Let's go forward now. First one of the things I'm going to do is share the fact is that the cover for this uh, presentation is, is, is right here. It says basically reading God's word because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. I really do encourage you to feed your spirit man daily, whether listen to this video or read the Bible for yourself or, uh, uh, or just listen, listen to other Bibles live or listen to ministries too that, that teaching and preach the word of God. Meditate on that word day and night. Making sense of God. Making sense of understanding God's word. In Nehemiah 8, 8 it says, so they read the book and the law of God distinctly and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading. So we want to be able to do that. But one of the things I want to do included in this is the Lord's Prayer. I mean, it's critical. You need to know and, and imply the Lord's Prayer or the manner of, the, manner of the Lord's Prayer in your day to day life. So you see here in Luke 11 1, and it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he sees one of the disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. So G Christ gave a, a pattern to use to incorporate our prayer life. You can pray any way you want to. Christ is just saying, after this man, I pray you. So let's look at what Christ said and just and see if you incorporate that in by your daily prayer. I'd actually just read the Lord's Prayer verbatim. Then I go into praying for healing, praying for family, for loved ones, and so forth. I just, that's what I, I try to do. Um, because then you can focus on that without trying to go through, make sure you got all the patterns or components in your prayer. But let's look at the fact is well, are these components important? Yes, they are. So verse 9, it says, After this man therefore pray ye, our Father which in heaven means a personal relationship between you and God. Hallowed be thy name, mean to glorify him. Show how awesome he is in your life. He is the creator of heaven and earth in the universe. Amen. Uh, then he says, Thy kingdom come. Uh, and the fact is that in a kingdom there's a king. God is the king. God sits on the throne of your life and my life. So we want to make sure we do that. That will be done. I like the fact because God's will of who I am, who you are, what we're supposed to do comes from him. Our purpose comes from him, not from us, not from our way of thinking. Amen. So just think about that. Is that will be done. And then when people try to make you conform to their will, you, you focus and say, no, I'm going to do God's will. That's why you're going to study the word of God. And our fastest is in heaven is what you want to do with that. And then give us this day. I like this fact is that it's a daily prayer. And one thing you got to remember, yesterday is gone. Tomorrow is not promised. It's today. And the Bible even says sufficient today is the eve thereof. So you want to give, you want to give, you want to thank God for this day. And you want to focus on his will done daily. And then it says, give us this day our daily bread is the word of God. You want to get the word of God fed, your spirit man fed daily. That's why I put these videos, that's why I just make, read these scriptures daily. And now I put them in audio so I can just hear them when I get distracted or I go, I like sometimes even go to sleep with them, you know, just hearing the word of God. But you want to give your spirit man fed daily. Amen. And then the, it says, and, le, and um, it says right here, verse 12, and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debt doors. 
you want to remember that God, Christ died for your sins and you want to be forgiven for the sins that you have done or will do in the future. But you ask for forgiveness and confess that to God. And, and, but the key point of that is, as we forgive our debt to us, how you forgive others, how you can be forgiven. So focus on that. I know it's hard, it's a challenge, but that's what he wants you to do. And that's what he reminds you to do that. And lead us not into temptation. You want the Holy Spirit to lead you to life, not to death, not to things that are going to destroy you, but the things that are going to keep you going, amen? And deliver from evil. You want to be in that, you know, like Psalms 91, he who dwells in a secret place. So he deliver you from evil because there's a spirit of warfare. Satan in John 10, 10 says, Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but Christ come to give life and life more abundantly. You want that abundant life, and you want to be delivered from evil that was tries to kill you. For thine is the kingdom. Once again, he's reminding you that he's king in your life, and that's a choice. You can be king in your own life if you want to, but I'd rather be, let him be king in my life. Amen? And and most of the scripture said, great is he that is in you, he is the word. The kingdom of God is in you. All right? For, so once again, for thine is the kingdom and the power, the eternal power belongs to God. The true power, the power that makes a difference, the power that can make change, the power to raise Christ from the dead is the power we're talking about. And you can tap into that power because he's your king. He's your father, amen? And the glory, once again, that hallowed be thy name. And the glory is to glorify him and magnify him daily. Amen. Matter of fact, that's a good thing about it. It gives us a day. This is the day you give him the glory. Amen. Daily, you're giving him the glory. So I love that. And you do it forever because that's what you want to do in heaven. And you want to do that because you definitely want to give, you want to give no glory from the enemy to him at all. Amen. Right? And you say, Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. Glory to God. And don't forget 14 said, Forgive me your trespass, you have the followers forgive you. 15 said, But forgive me not the trespass, and leave your father, give your trespasses. So I like using that. And you can. Use those components in your prayer. That's all I'm trying to say. Those components in there, the glorifying God, having a personal relation with Him, letting Him be King in your life, Amen. And 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 get the Spirit fed daily. So I'm I'm using these scriptures. I'm recording this for myself. But like I said, you're welcome to use these as well. So try that. I hope you enjoy the reading of these scriptures. And like I said, I made the slides so you can see the slides and you can read the scripture for yourself. You can always you know how you can pause videos and so forth. So you can pause, read the scripture, move on to the next one, download it. You can do uh, you can actually write those scriptures down and, and use one of the electronic Bibles to print those out yourself. But just stay in the word of God. Whether these are gonna be your favorite scriptures or you're gonna use some other things, favorite scriptures, but they are powerful in themselves at least for me. Amen. So God bless you. I hope you enjoy the video and uh, we'll see you when we see you. Amen. God bless you. All right. Bye-bye. Amen. Amen. Hey, man, you know what? One of the things I wanted to do, I, recently I had the, uh, I have these videos called Confession. And so we're going to start off with this confession and I'll record it because uh, I nearly lost it and I want to keep it. Amen. And anybody that has an opportunity to join and listen to this, uh, this confession of faith and, and the word of God, uh, you're welcome to, to, to uh, have a copy and look at it. But I'm going to go ahead and play my confessions and I'm going to be here listening to it. Amen. Amen. All right. So we'll go ahead. Time to go into some prayer, confession, amen. After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever, amen. We forgive men the trespass, you have the Father also forgive you. We forgive men not their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Amen? I thank you all for what you're about to do in my life, on the job, and in the ministry. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all your lands, serve the Lord with gladness, coming for his presence with singing, know the, the Lord.
what is God, it is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter to his gate for thanksgiving, enter to his court for praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. That was Psalm 100, verse 1 through 5. Psalm 7, verse 17. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, and I will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Psalms 9, 1. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart, and I will show forth all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou, Most High. I will declare thy name unto my brothers, in the midst of the congregation, where I praise thee. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. All you the seed of Jacob, glorify him and fear him. All you seed of Israel, for he has not despised, nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted. Neither has he hid his faith for him, but when he cried unto him, he heard. My praise shall be there in the great congregation. I will pay my vow before them that fear him. For me shall even be satisfied. They shall praise the Lord to seek him. Your heart shall live forever. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord, and all the kingdoms of the nation shall worship before me. For the kingdom is the Lord, and he is the governor of the nations. All men that be sat upon the earth shall eat and worship, and all they go down to the dust shall bow before him, that none can keep alive his own soul. A seed shall serve him. It shall be counted to the Lord for a generation. They shall come and shall declare his righteousness unto a people that shall be born that he has done this. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will feel no evil, for God with me. The rod and that staff they comfort me. God prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. God anointeth my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and Him will I trust. Surely he shall liberty from the snares of the fowl and from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers under his wings, shall I trust. This truth shall be thy shield of buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the peasant that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction and wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at that side. Of the depths of 
steps will store houses. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. I saw the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They lived in him a light and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all trouble. The angel of the Lord encamped round about him to fear him and deliver them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Look at this. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a harbor pit, out of a miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, hey, and established my going. And he put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it in fears and trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside the lies. Many, O oh Lord, my God, are that wonderful work which thou hast done, and that thoughts which are to us would. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If thou declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. O oh Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifice of God, our broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O oh God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure in the Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall I be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, the burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks <laughs> upon the altar. Look at this. Praise you the Lord. Praise you the Lord from the heaven. Praise him in the height. Praise him all his angels. Praise him all his hosts. Praise him sun and moon. Praise him all you stars of light. Praise him, you heavens of heavens, and you waters of me above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded they were created. He has also established them forever and ever. He has made a decree which shall not pass. Praise the Lord for the earth, ye dragons, and all deep. Fire and hell, snow and vapor, storm and wind, fulfilling his word. Mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedar, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowls. Kings of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth. Those young men and maiden, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord. For the name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He has also established the horn. He has also exalted the horns of his people to praise him all of his saints, even of the children of Israel, the people near to him. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let him praise his name in the dance. Let him sing praises unto him with a timbrel heart. For the Lord take his pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praise of God be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand. They execute vengeance upon the heathens and punishment upon the people. They bind their kings with chains, and their nobles with battle and alliance. They execute upon them the judgment written. This honor of all the saints. Praise you, the Lord. Praise you, the Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty act. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psalter and harp. Praise him with the temple and dance. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let every thing that has breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. Unto thee do we give thanks. For thy name is near. Thy wonderful works declare. When I shall receive the convocation, I will judge uprightly. The earth and all that have it there are dissolved. I bear the pillars of it. Selah. I say unto the fools, deal not foolishly. And to the wicked, lift not up the horn. Lift not up your horns on high. Speak not with a stiff neck. For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He put us down one.
one and set us up another. And he said, oh, no, you're not this parable. How dare when you know all parables? The so-and-so is the word. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan comes immediately and takes away the word that was sown in their hearts. And these are they likewise with the soul on stony ground, who when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness and have no root in themselves and so endure but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution arises for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. And these are they which are sown on, among thorns, such as hear the word and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things entering in, choke the word and become as unfruitful. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word and, and receive it and bring forth fruit. Some thirty-fold, some sixty, and some a hundred. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo. And righteousness shall thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear from terror, but shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall, but I say, Behold, I have created the smith to blow the coals of the fire and bring forth them for work. And I have created it waste to destroy. No weapon formed against it shall prosper. And every time it shall rise against the judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and the righteousness of me, says the Lord. Just for the law shall not depart in thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day, day and night, that thou may observe to do according to all that have been in. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and do all this commandment which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, that all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee, and thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of that body, the fruit of that ground, the fruit of that cattle, the increase of that kind, the flock of that sheep. Blessed shall be that basket and that store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall call thy enemy to rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessings upon thee in thy storehouses and in all thou settest thy hands unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee a holy people to himself as he has sworn unto the end. Thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his way. And all people of earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee finish the good in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground. And the land which the Lord swear unto thy father to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasures, the heavens, to give the rain unto thy land in the season, and to bless all the works of thy hands. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words that I command thee this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. For though we walk in the flesh, we don't, we, we don't walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not God, no, but mighty through God, to pulling down a stronghold, casting down imagination, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bring it to captivity, every thought to the obedience of Christ, and heaven and a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Father, brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality, against power, against the rulers and the dogmas of this world, against spiritual wickedness and high faces. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. 
that you may be able to withstand an evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, that you may be able to withstand an evil day. And having done all to stand, I'm repeating again, stand therefore, having your lives got about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shine with the preparation of gospel peace. Of the all taking a show of faith, well, we just should be able to quit all the fiery dots of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the soul of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always if with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there for there too, with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Romans 1 17. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Hebrews 10 38. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Hebrews 11 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of faith is not seen. Hebrews 11 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and is the reward of them that diligently seek him. Galatians 3 6 13. Even as Abraham believed God, and it was encountered to him for righteousness, know you therefore that they which are faith, the same are the children of Abraham. And the scripture for sin that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel to Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. So then they would be of faith, are blessed with faith, Abraham. For as many as are the works of the law, under the curse, for it is written, Curses everyone that continues not in all things that are written in the book of the law to do them. But then no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident. For the just faith shall live by faith. The law is not a faith, but the man that does it them shall live in them. See, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. He made a curse for us. For it is written, curses everyone that hangs on a tree. Romans 10, 8 through 17. But what Satan said, the word is not thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is richer to all that call upon him. Huh? For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall you call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent as it is written? How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah is the Lord who hath believed our report. So their faith cometh by hearing, yes, and hearing the word of God. Proverbs 18, 6 through 7. A fool lived into contention, and his mouth called for strokes. <laughs> a fool's mouth is destruction, but in his lips are the snare of his soul. Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Proverbs 23, 7. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. He and drink says he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Proverbs 4, 7. Wisdom is a principal thing, huh? Therefore, get wisdom. And all that getting, get understanding. Exalt the word of God, and the word of God shall promote thee. The word of God shall bring thee honor when thou embrace the word of God. Now, just go back to scripture itself and say, what I'm trying to say is the word of God, or wisdom, is the word of God. Amen? So let's go ahead and just do it the other way. Here it says, by the scripture itself, wisdom is 
is a prayerful thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And all that getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou embrace her. Confess you, Lord. First Peter 2, 24 and 25. Who is also a bear our sins in his own body, that we being dead to sin shall live unto righteousness, by whose strength ye were healed. For ye were sheep gone astray, but now return unto the shepherd and bishop of your soul. For he was wounded for our transgression in Isaiah 53, 5 through 6. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised by iniquity. The child's ties were upheaved upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep are going astray. We we'll turn everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. John, third, 3 John 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. Matthew 6, verse 22. To tw 22, glory to God. To 34, it looked like it. Yeah. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore the eye be single, the whole body should be full of light. But if the eye be evil, the whole body should be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? No man can serve two masters, for he will hate the one and love the other, or else he'll hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mamma. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life. What you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body what you shall put on, is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap. Nor got into the bonds of your father, heavenly father, feed us them. Are you not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit to a statue? And why take ye thought for raven? Consider the lilies of the field how they grow. They draw not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not ready like one of these. Wherefore, God so clothed the grass of the field, with the day he has tomorrow and cast it to the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore, will take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or where else shall we clothe? But after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you're in need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow. For tomorrow is the day false of the things of itself. <laughs> so finish it unto today is the evil thereof. Jeremiah 29 11 says, For well, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Galatians 5 16 to 22. This I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other. So that you cannot do the things that you would. But if you be led <laughs> of the spirit, you're not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest with the deeds. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, autolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, immolation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, envies, murder, drunkenness. Revelry is such like of which I tell you before, as also told you in time past, that they would do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Joy, peace, love, suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. I am the true vine. Huh? That's in John 15. I am the true vine. And my father, the husbandman, every branch in me that bears not fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he purges it and it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean to the words which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me and I in you. 
as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abides in the vine. No more can you except you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abides in me, and I am him the same, bringing forth much fruit. Without me, you can do nothing. If a man abides not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered, and men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burnt. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit. So shall you be my disciple. Galatians 6, 7. Be not deceived. God is not not. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also be. For he that soweth to the flesh, shall the flesh be corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit, shall the spirit be life. Everlasting. 2 Corinthians 5 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Isaiah 55 6. Seek to the Lord while he may be while he may be found. Call you upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the righteous man in false and let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For the rain comes down, and the snow from heaven, and return is not bitter, but water the earth, and make it bring forth and bud. And they give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my word be to go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper the thing which you are sent it. For you should go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you to sing it. And all the trees of the fields shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorns shall come at the fir tree. And instead of the briar shall come at the murder tree. And it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Joshua 24, verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods that were on the side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites who land you dwell. But for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Proverbs 5, verses 1 through 16. Make sure 1 through 23. My son, attend to my wisdom and bow the ear to my understanding that thou mayest regard discretion and, and thy lips may keep knowledge. For the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil, but her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet goes down to death. Her steps take hold on hell. Lest thou should ponder the path of life. Her ways are movable, and thou cannot know them. Hear me now, therefore, you children. And depart not from the words of my mouth. Remove thy way far from her, and come not nigh the door of a house. Lest I give thy honor unto others, and thy years unto the cruel. Lest stranger be filled with thy wealth. And thy labor be in the house of a stranger. And thy morning last, when thy flesh and thy body are consumed, and say, How have I hated instruction? And my heart despised reproof. And have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me. I was almost in all evil in the midst of the congregation assembly. Drink water, my old sister, and run the water out their own well. Let that fountain be dispersed abroad in rivers and waters in the street. Let them be holy thou all and not strangers with me. Let that fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Let it be as a loving heart in present row. Let a breast satisfy thee at all times. And be thou ravished always with her love. And why wilt thou, my son, <laughs> be ravished with a strange woman and embrace the bosom of a stranger? For the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he ponder all his going. His own iniquity.
people should take the wicked himself, and he should be holding with the cause of his sin. He shall die without instruction, and in the greatness of his folly, he shall go astray. Matthew 5, verse 27 to 32. You heard it was said about them all time that I should not commit adultery, but I say unto you that whosoever shall look as on a woman to lust after her has committed adultery with her already in his heart. And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee, for it's probable for thee that one of thy members of parents, and not that the whole body, should be cast in hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee, for it's probable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that the whole body should be cast in hell. It has been said, whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her right in divorcement. But I say unto you, <laughs> that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, causing her to commit adultery, and whosoever shall marry her that is divorced, commits adultery. Romans 8. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemns? It is Christ that died, yet rather is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God? Who also make intercession for us? Who shall separate from the love of Christ? Or tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, and all these things were more than conquerors through him eleven. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, verse 1. Going to verse 11. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, and it was weak through the flesh. God sent his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Look, for to be constantly minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace, because the cardinal mind is enmity against God. For it's not subject to the law of God, neither he can be. So in day that the flesh cannot please God, but you're not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is number here. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in you. Also, we got 12 through 15. Romans 8, 12 to 15. Therefore, brother, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live out the flesh. <laughs> or if you live out the flesh, you shall die. But if you through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. For as many are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, <laughs> Abba, Father. God's name, some of the names of God, a reference to the power of God. Hallowed be that name, Jehovah, God Almighty, and El Shaddai. I declare Jehovah Sikhanu is in my life, the God of righteousness, and I thank you for the forgiveness of sin. I declare Jehovah McKenna is in my life, 
that God just sanctifies. God, thank you for the givers of sin. I declare Jehovah Shalom in my life, the God of peace. God, thank you for the spirit, the fullness of the Holy Spirit. I declare Jehovah Shalom in my life, the God that I'm there. I thank you, Lord, you never leave me nor forsake me. I declare Jehovah Rophah in my life, the God, my healer. I thank you for soundness, health, and healing. I declare Jehovah Jireh in my life, Jehovah of Avengers every seen in my life, and I thank you for success, free from the curse. I declare Jehovah Nisi in my life, the God, my banner, my victory. I thank you for the from fear, death, and hell. I declare Jehovah Rahab in my life, the God, my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Then we got Revelation 20, verse 10 through 15. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever and i saw a great white throne and him the settlement from whose face the earth and the heavens fled away and they will found no place for them and I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast to the lake of fire. Hallelujah. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Hebrews 6 12. That you be not slothful, the followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Proverbs 6, verse 6 through 9. Go to the air, thou slugger. Uh-huh. Oh, now, consider her way, uh-huh, and be wise. Which have no guide, uh-huh, or seer, or ruler, provides her meat in the summer, and gathers her food in the harvest. How long would thou sleep, O slugger? When would I rise out of that sleep? Well, I got a verse 10 here. You got a little sleep, a little summer, a little fall in the hands of sleep. In verse 11, so shall poverty come as one that travels, and that one as an armed man. Wow. This is your ghost in praise, confession, apostle people. This is start off and says, I am somebody. Romans 8 declares to me that I'm a child of God. I'm an heir of God. I'm a joint heir with Christ Jesus. I'm more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus who loves me. If God be for me, who can be against me? The 91st Psalm declares unto me that as long as I dwell in the secret place of the Most High, which is the Word of God, I shall abide under the shadow, the protection, the provision of the Almighty God. And further bear witness to me that God is my refuge, my hiding place, my fortress, my strength, and my God, the one whom I worship. Because of this, I'm not afraid of the snares of the fowler or the north of pestilence. A thousand shall fall at one side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come now my dwelling. Only my eyes shall have a hold and see the reward of the wicked. Because God is my refuge and my habitation, no evil shall befall me. Neither shall any plague come now in my dwelling. Because God has given, or come, let me see, because God has given his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. Those angels grab me up in the hand before I dash my foot against the stone. First Peter 2 9 establishes my identity. That is, look, I'm a chosen generation. I'm a royal priesthood. I'm a holy nation. I'm a peculiar people. I will call out of darkness and place to God, marvelous light. Galatians 3 assures me that Christ redeemed huh, me from the curse of the law, yes, and released to the blessings of Abraham. It further assures me if I belong to Christ, which I do, that I'm Abraham's seed and heir according to the promises <laughs> some of those promises are found in deuteronomy 28 i'm blessed coming in i'm blessed going out 
the fruit of my body, my children I bless. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. I'm a lender, not the borrower. These blessings are steadily <laughs> overtaking me daily. One more thing, the 91st Psalms assures me. Well, long life will God satisfy me and show me how good it is to be one of the same. Hallelujah. 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 Now give it all you got. Hallelujah. This is an unknown author. I normally refer to a guy that the first time I heard it was back in Hopewell. Uh, or reading the uh the book. The uh book. But there's also a lot of praise. Oh, this is an unknown author. But it's a very strong and powerful statement in itself. It says, if you think you are beat, then you are. If you think you dare not, then you won't. If you like to win, but don't think you can, it's almost a set you won't. If you think you'll lose your love, but out of the world you'll find. Success begins with a fellow's will. It's all in the state of mind. If you think I'll class you out, you got to think higher than right. you got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Think big and your deeds will grow. Think small and you'll fall behind. Think that you can and you will. It's all in the state of mind. Life battles don't always go to the stronger, faster man. But sooner or later, the man who wins is a fellow who thinks he can. For the man thinks in his heart, oh, so is he. Come on now. Jesus confessed he came through the pastor's down. World changes international ministry. Or oh, could have gave a Charles Cap, one of them. But, but I got his first in world change ministry. So I said from Charles Cap. It says here, <clears throat> to defeat worry and fear, confess these three times a day. I'm the body of Christ, and Satan has no power over me to overcome evil with good. The scripture referred to it, 1 Corinthians 12, 37, Romans 12, 21. I am of God and have overcome Satan, so great is he that's in me that he that's in the world. That's first John, verse four and four. I will feel the evil that I with the Lord, your word and your spirit that comfort me. That is Psalm 23, verse 4. I fall from oppression and fear does not come nigh me. That's Isaiah 54, 14. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, for my righteousness is to the Lord. Whatever I do will prosper, for I'm like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water. That is Isaiah 57, verse 17, and Psalm 1, verse 3. I deliver from the evil this present world for the will of God. That's Galatians 1, verse 4. No evil will befall me. You should need to pray and come out my dwelling. When you're giving angels charge over me, and they keep in all my ways. And my pathway is life, and there is no death. That's Psalm 91, verse 10 to 11, and Proverbs 12, verse 28. I am a doer of the word of God, and I bless in my deeds. I'm happy no thing which I do, because I'm a doer of the word of God. That's verse, that's James, verse, chapter 1, verse 22. I take a shield of faith, and I quit every fiery dot that the wicked one brings against me. That's Ephesians 6, verse 17. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Thereby forbid any sickness or disease to come upon this body. Every disease, germ, and every virus that touches this body dies instantly in the name of Jesus. Every organ, every tissue of this body function in the perfection to which God created to function. And I forbid any malfunction in this body in the name of Jesus. This is Galatians 3, verse 13, Romans 8, verse 11, Genesis 1, verse 30, Matthew 16, verse 19. I'm an overcomer, and overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of my testimony. That's Revelation 12, verse 11. The devil flee from me because I resist him in the name of Jesus. That's James, verse 4, chapter 4, verse 7. The word of God is going to sell it in heaven. Therefore, I establish this word upon this earth. That's Psalm 119, verse 89. Great is the peace of my children, for they are taught of the Lord. That's Isaiah 54, verse 13. Now, for material need, confess these three times a day. Christ 
Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Christ has redeemed me from sickness. Christ has redeemed me from poverty. Christ has redeemed me from spiritual death. That's Galatians 3, verse 13, Deuteronomy 28. From poverty, he has given me wealth. For sickness, he has given me health. For death, he has given me eternal life. That comes from 1 Corinthians 8, verse 9, John 10, verse 10, and John 5, verse 24. It is true unto me according to the word of God. Psalm 119, verse 25. I delight myself in the Lord, and he gives me the desires of my heart. That's Psalm 37, verse 4. I have given, and it is given unto me good measure, pressed them, shaken together, running over, then given to my bosom. That's Luke 6, verse 38. For unless I made this message unto me, I so bound with if I reap boundly. I give children, and my God has made all grace abound toward me, and I have an all sufficiency of all things to abound to all good works. That's 2 Corinthians verse, chapter 9, verse 6 through 8. There's no lack. For my God supplies all my need according to his riches in glory by Jesus Christ. That's Philippians 4.19. The Lord is my shepherd and I do not want because Jesus was made poor that I through his poverty might have abundance. For he came that I might have life and have it more abundantly. That's Psalm 23 verse 1. 2 Corinthians 8, verse 9, John 10, verse 10. And I, having received the gift of righteousness to reign as a king of life by Jesus Christ. That's Romans 5, verse 17. The Lord has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant, and Abraham blessings are mine. That's Psalm 35, verse 27, and Galatians 3, verse 19. For wisdom and guidance will cast these three times again. Okay. The Spirit of truth abides in me, and it teaches me all things, and he guides me to all truth. Therefore, I confess I have perfect knowledge of every situation in every circumstance that I come up against. I have the wisdom of God. John 16, verse 13, and James 1, verse 5. I trust in the Lord with all my heart, and I lean not to my own understanding. Proverbs 3, verse 5. Come on now. In all my ways, I acknowledge him, and he directs my path. That's Proverbs 3, verse 6. The word of God is a lamp unto my feet, yes. It is a light unto my path. That's Psalm 119, verse 105. The Lord will protect that which concerns me. Mm. That's Psalm 138, verse 8. <laughs> I let the word of Christ dwell and be rich in all wisdom. That's Colossians 3, 16. I do follow the good shepherd, and I know his voice. And the voice of a stranger I will not follow. That's John 10, verse 4 and 5. Jesus is made to me wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, redemption. Therefore, I confess I have the wisdom of God, and I'm the righteous of God in Christ Jesus. That's 1 Corinthians 1, chapter 1, verse 30, and 2 Corinthians 5, verse 21. I am filled with the knowledge of the Lord and our wisdom and spirit to understand. Colossians 1, verse 9. I am a new creation in Christ. I'm in workmanship created in Christ Jesus. Therefore, I have the mind of Christ and the wisdom of God is born within me. That's first, that's second Corinthians 5 verse 17, Ephesians 2 verse 10, and first Corinthians 2 16. I put off the old man and put off the new man, ah, which is renewed in the knowledge of the image of him that created me. That's Colossians 3 verse 10. I receive the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. The eyes of my understanding being enlightened. And I'm not conformed to this world, but I'm transformed by the renewing of my mind. I, my mind is renewed by the word of God. That's Ephesians 1, verse 17 through 18, and Romans 12, verse 2. For comfort and strength, confess these as often as necessary. I'm increasing in the knowledge of God. I'm strengthened with all might according to his glory and power. That's Colossians 1, verse 10 through 11. I am delivered from the power of darkness, and I'm translated to the kingdom of his dear son. That's Colossians 1, verse 13. I am born of God and have all overcoming faith residing on the inside of me. For great is he 
resent me, the heat that's in the world. That's First John 5, 4 to 5, and First John 4, verse 4. I will do all things through Christ which strengthens me. That's Philippians 4, 13. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The Lord is the strength of my life. That's Nehemiah 8, verse 10, and Psalms 27, verse 1. The peace of God surpasses all understanding. He's my heart in my mind through Christ Jesus. And all things which are good and pure and perfect and lovely and of good report, I think on these things. That's Philippians 4, verse 7 through 8. I speak the truth of the word of God in love. And I grow up in the Lord of Christ in all things. That's Philippians 4, verse 15. I let no corrupt communication proceed out of my mouth, but that which is good and edifying, then minister grace to the hearer. I grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby I'm sealed unto the day of redemption. That's Ephesians 4, verse 29 through 30. No man should take him out of his hand for his eternal life. That's John 10, verse 29. I will let, I will let, and I let the peace of God rule in my heart, and I refuse to worry about anything. That's Colossians 3, verse 15. I will not let the word of God depart from before my eyes, for his life to me, yes. For I have found it holy, ghost. And it is health and healing to all my flesh. That's Proverbs 4, 21 and 22. God is on my side. God is in me now. Who can be against me? He has given to me all things that pertain to life and godliness. Therefore, partake of his divine nature. That's 2 Corinthians 6, verse 13. John 10, verse 10. 2 Peter 1, 3 to 4. And Romans 8, verse 31. I will believe it. Hey, decide to follow me. In the name of Jesus, I cast out demons. I speak with new tongues. I lay hands on the sick, and they do recover. That's Mark 16, verse 17 through 18. Look at this now. Jesus gave me the authority to use his name. And that which I bind on earth is bound in heaven. And that which I loose on earth is loose in heaven. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind it for the paladins, the powers, the rulers, and the darkness of this world. I bind and cast down spiritual wickedness in high places and make them harmless and ineffective against me in the name of of Jesus. That's in Matthew 16, verse 19, Matthew 18, verse 18, Ephesians 6, verse 12. I'm completing him who is the head of all principalities and power, for I'm his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that I should walk therein. That's Colossians 2, verse 10, and Ephesians 2, verse 10. Here's a confession for you, brothers and sisters. Jesus said, I have told my people that they can have what they say, but my people are saying what they have. The time is now to start saying what we desire according to the world of God through Jesus Christ. See, God wants me to prosper and to be blessed to be a blessing and establish his covenant, give and learn to see now. Now, some people say they didn't understand it. Who made that? Let me break it down for you. Jesus said, this is Jesus. Jesus said, I have told my people that they can have what they say. So he said, if you say it, you believe it, you confess it, you stay with it, you can have it. saying what they have. Instead of saying I'm healed, you say I'm sick. Instead of saying I'm free, you say I'm in bondage. Instead of saying I'm, I can see, you say you're blind. You're saying that what you don't want, opposed to saying that what you want. Stay focused on what you want. People confess and focus and keep your mind on the path by quoting and saying what they want. Everybody can see what you got. So focus on what you want. He said, the time is now to start saying, look at this, what we desire according to the will of God through Jesus Christ. Now, the things that you want you need to line up with the word of God. You got to line up with the will of God. The laws that line up with the will of God, then you can say anything. And the work 
on the promises, and trust in the promises, and believe in the promises. This says right here, God wants me to prosper and to be blessed to be a blessing. God wants us to be a blessing. God wants to bless us to be a blessing. So if you're blessed, give blessing. Amen? And establish covenant, and it says give and learn to receive. Because some of us don't know how to receive. Some of us know, will give, but don't think they can receive. Well, somebody want to bless you, you take it so they can get a blessing. If you are a blessed, if you are blessed, if somebody want to plant a seed in your life, receive it so they can get their blessing. They're blessing. They're looking for the blessing from you. They're looking for the blessing from God. That what he said on in Genesis 12. He said, I'll bless those who bless you and I'll curse those who curses you. We don't need to be cursing one another. We need to be blessing one another so we can get this harvest of blessings. You want not the harvest of curse. Amen? Colossians 3, verse 4 through 5. When Christ in our life shall appear, then shall also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your members upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, and no affection, even for keepers and covenant with this idolatry. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. Isaiah 43, verse 25 to 26. I, even I, and he that blotteth out that transgression for my own sake. And will not remember that sin. Let me remember, amen? Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. James 2, verse 9. But if you show partiality, you commit sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. Mark 11, verse 25. And whenever you stand praying, come on now, come on, come on. If you have anything against anyone, come on now, forgive them. But your Father in heaven may also forgive your trespasses. People sitting there holding on to give, just give it up. First John 1 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. First Corinthians 10, verse 13. There is no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tender, but that you are able. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it? Romans 6, verse 14. For sin shall not have dominion over me. For I'm not under the law, but under grace. First Thessalonians 5, verse 22. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Deuteronomy 30, verse 19. I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you. Come on now. That I set before you. Come on. Life and death. Blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life. So both you and your descendants may live. Come on. The same blessing, the same life and death that was offered to Adam and Eve is also given to us. We can choose life in Christ or we can choose death in the world. They got a choice. <laughs> Psalms 1, verse 1 through 2. This is man. <laughs> if it walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, but standeth in the way of, oh no, nor standeth in the way of sinners. Come on now, get it right. No sinners in the seats of the scornful. But the delight is in the law of the Lord, and in the law, in his law, does he meditate what? Day and night. Revelation 20 10 said, The devil who deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone with a beast and the false prophet are, and they will be tormented day and night, forever and ever. When the devil come and buy him of his future, no matter what the words say, it doesn't matter what you're trying to take or who you're trying to take with you, you're going. So you need to know your future. Come around me, you need to know your future. Glory to God. That Job has got to leave. Tired of hearing about his future. You want to focus on trying to mess your future? No! You got to live at your future. <laughs> Matthew 7 20. Wherefore, by their fruit you shall know them. Wherefore, therefore, know we no man the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more after the flesh. Amen? For fornication and all the cleanness of covenants, let it not be one's name among you as the common saints. Praise you the Lord. Blessed is the man 
that fears the Lord delight his great in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of Christ shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. Unto the upright that rises light in the darkness, he is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man shows favor and lenders, he will guide his affair with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance, he shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established, he shall not be afraid until he see desires upon his enemy. He has his purse, he has given to the poor, his righteousness endure forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor, the wicked shall see it and be grieved, he shall dash with his teeth and melt away, the desires for the wicked shall perish. First Corinthians 4 10, when Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you will bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that you have to keep it from evil, that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested.